hello guys welcome back to my channel today in this video i will show you how to fix destiny 2 the edge of fate game crashing on pc or showing crashing at startup error on pc so let's go ahead <laughs> Let's start but before going to the fixes you should make sure that you have downloaded the destiny 2 game on your pc because to play the destiny 2 the edge of fate game it requires to download the base game so now let's go through the methods first you need to check the system requirements for that you simply go to the steam and search for destiny to the edge of fatium and go below here you can check the requirements that your pc needs minimum as well as recommended requirements before you play the game so once done the next is to restart your pc so for that you simply click on the start option and then click on power option and next click on restart doing this will restart your pc and then check if you can play the game if not then what you have to do is to run the game as administrator so for that you simply go to steam go to your library section where you have downloaded the game click on properties then click on the installed files option here i have not downloaded the game so i am showing what are the methods to do so simply click on install files here click on browse and it will take you to the application folder where it has been installed so right click on the application and then click on properties next click on compatibility and here you can see run this program as an administrator option simply click on this and then click on apply and then on ok if this works then it's fine otherwise simply click on disable full screen optimization and then click on apply and then ok if this also doesn't resolve the issue then simply click on run this program in compatibility mode for and select windows then click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check if this works for you the next method is to allow the game through firewall so for that you simply need to go to the search bar here type windows defender firewall this will open this type of interface you simply need to click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall after this you need to click on another app option and then click on browse here look for the game and add it to the list allowed through firewall here you have to make sure that both private and public boxes are ticked and after this relaunch the game and check if the issue is a result the next method is to update your graphics card for that you simply go to the search bar here type device manager go below under display adapters you can see your graphics card simply right click over here and click on update driver option next you can see search automatically for driver simply click on this and this will search for the latest driver and install it on your device the next method or if you want to update your graphics card i have provided the link in the description simply go through them and you can upload or download the latest graphics card for your pc the next is to verify integrity of the game files for that you have to go 
to the steam folder where the game has been downloaded go to the library section right click on the game select properties and then go to the install files option here click on verify file integrity of game files once done relaunch the game and then check if it works for you next is to modify launch option for that again go to the steam go to the library section select the game and right click on it select properties under general you can see launch option here you need to type minus tx11 and then check if it works otherwise simply type minus dx12 and now check if this works for you the next solution is to check graphic settings of the game there are lots of graphic settings in the game and if it is not configured properly then some kind of issue occurs so you need to check the texture quality resolution that directly impacts the game make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphic settings to avoid such type of unwanted issue the next is to close unnecessary background tasks for that you simply click over here select task manager and under processes you should check which apps is consuming more or high resources and then select it right click over here and select end task option this will close the app that is consuming high resources next method is to update windows for that simply go to the search bar type check for windows and windows update interface will occur here you can see if any update is available for your windows it, it will take some time to check if any update is available simply click on it update your windows to the latest version and then relaunch the game to see if the issue is resolved the next method is to install visual c++ so in the description box i have given the link S simply open it and download and install the visual c++ according to your requirement next is to change virtual memory settings for that what you have to do is to simply go to the search bar here type view advanced system settings under advanced you can see performance click on settings under performance select advanced option here under virtual memory should click over on change option now remove this automatically manage paging fill file size option and here simply click on custom size under custom size you have to type 24576 and in the maximum size you need to type 49152 this setting is for 16 gb ram and once done click on okay and then restart your pc and then check if this setting resolves the issue the next method is to disable in game overlays for that you have again go to the steam folder go to your library section right click on the game select properties and here you can see the option of enable the steam overlay while in game it's enabled so simply disable it and then check if the issue is resolved now next method is to disable antivirus program lots of users install antivirus programs on their system but somewhere this kind of antivirus stops the game from running smoothly so you simply need to disable it and then try to play the game next method is to perform a clean boot so what you have to do is go to the search bar or simply press windows plus r to open the dialog box then type ms config click on okay 
system configuration pop-up will occur. Simply go to the services tab and here select hide all Microsoft services and then click on disable all option. Then click on startup tab. Here click on open task manager and from here select the app that you want to disable and click on disable option. Once done go to the services tab again that is system configuration tap on ok and then restart your PC. If not next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card. For that you simply go to the search bar type here graphics settings this type of interface will open here you need to add the game that you have downloaded and then the game will be added like this simply click on the cursor under GPU preference select high performance and then doing this setting try to play the game and check if the issue is resolved if you still face the same issue then it's time to reinstall the game so what you have to do is simply go to the steam file under library select the game right click on it and under manage option you can see uninstall option this type of interface will open simply click on uninstall and it will take some time and the game will be uninstalled after this restart your PC when the, your system restarts again install the game and try to play the game on your system hopefully this will help you to play the game without any further problem